Evening all, welcome to Fitting Dust. So today we're looking at the laser rifle. Now this is um, this is a gun close to my heart actually. I used to use this exclusively in chromosome. Um, a huge amount in fact. It was always one of my most favourite uh, guns. Then when uh, Uprising came, basically the, uh, the only real change that happened to it was um, twofold. It was basically sharpshooting as a skill was removed. So all of a sudden you couldn't have a laser rifle that was a very long range gun. And secondly, the, the iron scope came in. So all of a sudden you went from this high tech kind of, you know, holographic scope to, um, you know, a weird kind of, uh, you know, World War One kind of scope, as you'll see here. So um, I think it's a bit of a shame. But anyway, so I think in terms of this gun, I'm really hoping um, that uh, the, the changes they've done to it. So they've actually announced that the there's going to be the scope for the scrambler rifle for this, which, again, I have mixed feelings about. But anyway. Um, as you'll see that you know they're trying to make this gun useful again um, now currently what I'm using here is actually the staff recruiter laser rifle um, as, as you, if, if you're not familiar with this basically you get um, if you, you have a link and the, uh, if you can get people to come play the game through your link they sign up because of you they get a load of free stuff and I mean you know huge amounts of free stuff and um, you basically get um, rewarded once you've got a certain number of people. Now, um, I'm, you know, this staff recruiter rifle, I think, is, um, you know, I think I've got the sniper rifle, I've got the scrambler pistol, I've got the assault rifle, I've got the uh, laser rifle, sniper rifle, the whole lot. So I think it's um, the, the next for step from here is the suits. Uh, so, you know, if I get to that point, I'll certainly show them. But I um, thought I'd give the staff recruiter laser rifle a go. Now, to be honest with you, there are kind of three types of laser rifle. Okay, there's the basic version, which is just the laser rifle. You then have your um, ELM, your ELM and that's your standard version or rather advanced and then you have your prototype version which is the Visium. Um, now you do have Aurum versions as well so you have things like the Burn Stalk which I guess is the equivalent of the uh, the normal laser rifle you then have things like the uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but you have a version of the, the Visium as well. So, you know, there's there's plenty of versions of laser rifle. Now, with regards to the Staff Recruiter laser rifle, I think this is just a militia equivalent. Um, which, ooh, if I'm honest, I have a problem with. I think that, you know, if you're going to be rewarding people for getting people into the game, you know, effectively all they've done is given me a BPO of a laser rifle, which I guess I shouldn't moan about, but... The laser rifle is so shit I'll never use it. I mean, this is the one time it's probably going to get used because um, laser rifles in general aren't great. Now, you probably need to run them with complex damage mods to get some real kick out of them. Um, but then you have to risk, obviously, as you see there, the overheat. So I, I, I find it difficult to really understand, since the scrambler rifle came in, what is the point of the laser rifle? They took sharp shooting out, so the laser rifle used to have an incredible ability to kill stuff from across the map. That was it was almost like a mini sniper in a way. Um, but with that change now gone, the range on this laser rifle I don't think is any better than the scrambler rifle. So, and the scrambler rifle is a much is a higher impact single shot kind of variety. So, it actually makes no sense to use the laser rifle in my mind. Now, there are people. I mean, I know Lord Porter's very good um, with. Um, with this thing he uses laser rifle exclusively and it is you know i i totally agree that if you have the mr assault if you have the right damage mods if you have the right fitting and you, and you run the visium you're going to do and you're used to the gun most importantly you're going to do some quite big damage um but what i would say is that i think um it's not a casual gun it's not like the ar where you pick it up and you're pretty much proficient in it you know you know how the gun works and it works with the laser rifle it's a totally different um, modus operandi because basically it doesn't really um, work like any other gun you just have to basically you know damage them over time build up your heat then hit them when the heat's the highest it's, it's, it's a bit weird you know I think um, when I was good with it I mean at the moment I'm rusty as balls with it but when I was good with it it was a phenomenally enjoyable gun to use because you could sit back pretty far you could you know pick off targets then you'd run in with the SMG or the Flaylock now um, and, and kill stuff up close <clears throat> and I think it's a shame because I think the uh, I would love to see the range increased on this thing I'd love to see maybe the the um, just things like you know a better use of skills for it so you know the cooldown is obviously quite a key skill you need to uh, get up um, you know and so on and I think just generally don't even bother using it unless you're running in a mask suit now that's just my opinion now you know I'm, I can be completely corrected on that but I just feel that this is this is one of those guns that I think just has no benefit from being on 
um, anything but an Amal suit because that additional time you have to fire before it burns out. And I think just the fact that it's an, it's an armor-based suit so you can actually run damage mods means that, it, you know, its natural home is certainly on an, on an armor Amal suit, possibly. Having said that, I had fun using it. I think, um, you know, this is the, the staff recruiter version was weak. And, you know, I'm just going to say thanks, CCP. Yeah, I feel really, <laughs> I feel really privileged to get, that you gave me this terrible gun that's awful. It's like the staff recruiter assault rifle is as close to pointless as you can ever get. It is awful. Um, I haven't tried the sniper rifle yet, but I think it's no better than the militia. And <laughs> I haven't even tried the scrambler pistol yet because why would I do that? So... You know, the whole recruiter stuff is is a shame. I honestly think you should be rewarded better than they're giving you. Now, they do give you boosters, which is good. So I'm not I'm not moaning. Um, but I think it would be nice to have something more unique. Like, you know, something not bad. Something maybe advanced level at least. However, the uh, we are where we are. So I think in terms of this particular gun... Um, and the laser rifle in general, I would say probably it's worth a look soon. And what we'll do is this is obviously, you know, the laser rifle as it stands today. We'll do another video, I think, when all the changes come in for this gun because I am quite tempted to see if I can resurrect my uh, scout suit fit, which has basically um, laser rifle SMG and armor tanking. I know, weird, eh? Um, and maybe use it as a more of a kind of, you know, medium to kind of longish range um, suit. But I think just by the fact that there's no sharp shooting skill anymore, the laser rifle is, I think, the one gun that is kind of gimped by that. Maybe the heavy machine gun as well. And I think that's a shame to a degree because it would be, and again, I know that you can hit across long distances, but you'd, all you're doing is pointing them out. You're not actually hurting them, and that's a shame. I think also just the fact that it's nice to change your play style as well. I would heartily recommend that people do this. And it's funny, my last video, hopefully you saw it about guns and having many different guns, I think is really starting to sing true because I'm getting so sort of bemused by the fact that so many people are putting everything, all their eggs in one basket with one gun. And that's because they want to become super pro with it and, you know, all of the game is, is completely biased towards that one gun and blah, 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 blah. And that's pretty much the mentality of Eve. Eve has always been like this, where there's one good ship, you know, generally, the Drake, or whatever, and everybody will then just literally spam it continually until CCP have to step in like parents over an unruly child and basically say, right, that's enough of that, stop using that, stop that, stop playing with the cat, stop doing that, stop sticking that up its bum, and you actually then are basically forced to use something different. So... I, I think maybe one of the best things to do is to hedge your bets slightly. And I, I know that some people got really kind of, you know, 1% on me about this. But I think the reality is, is that I, I can use every gun in the game on this character now with no exception now. And I think the that's a good place to be because you basically can use many different guns. Now, the, the level you go into proficiency obviously then is going to be your investment. So, you know, I, I skilled up the Flaylock quite a lot. It's been nerfed. Um, <clears throat> it's still good, I still enjoy using it, but I think it's not as good as it used to be. So I think, you know, you have to just have that appreciation of, um, you know, sometimes you'll invest and sometimes it'll pay off. So the mass driver at the moment, if you've got skills in that, if you can use the freedom, then it's paying off very nicely. Um, if you've got, I don't know, uh, top skills in the whatever, you know, the shotgun, then it's probably not. There's probably very little purpose in that. So just have that as a thing in the back of your mind, because I think it's certainly um, a key part of the game is maybe to hedge your bets a bit more. Proved in essence by what I'm just showing here. You know, I started the round obviously with the laser rifle, but then things got a bit close and dirty. So we switched over to the shotgun to, uh, you know, to, to basically take out the, uh, the scrubs. So there we go. I think in, in summary, the laser rifle is a good gun um, if you're particularly skilled and, and the environment is correct to use it. So you've got the right suit, you've got the right skills. I don't think it's like the AR where any suit could use it at any point. I think it's more of a specialist kind of weapon, which is, I guess, what it's meant to be. And I'd probably say if you're gonna if you're gonna go into it, then you're gonna have to really invest your skill points, get the Visium, get complex damage mods, and maybe run an armor fit, and you'll probably kill quite a lot because they are still pretty deadly in the hands of the right people however with myself i am not the right person and i'm crap at it hope you enjoyed that see you next time